good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I'm going to install some Raptor style lights in the grill, my new grill, on the Toyota Tacoma. Of course, they go right across the front here, and I have to say, after having them on numerous grills, it looks kind of naked without them. Going with something a little bit different this time, I got some smoked and I believe they're white lights. They may be amber. Honestly, I don't remember. Now, what I've got, they're sitting over here, and it's a simple little kit. There are four lights. They kind of push in through the grill, and then they plug into the little harness you have here, and then I'll connect the harness into my aux beam switch panel. Makes it very simple. So we're gonna go ahead, get started, push these in. First thing I have to do, though, I'm gonna go ahead and trip the circuit breaker, which I've already done, right here on the aux beam panel so that I can wire these in. I'm gonna go with five amp. Uh, it looks like the maker of those put a five amp fuse in, so I'm assuming five amp is okay. There's no verbiage with them. I can't imagine those four little lights would draw more than five amps. Um, and that's it. So we'll run the wire right under here, right through, right up the side, underneath the panel, and then we'll plug it into the panel. I've shown how to do that before, so I'm not going to show that part. But I am going to show how we put them in the front, and then, of course, what they look like when we're done. Okay, a little bit of a conundrum here for me. Typically, traditionally, folks put these across the top, right up below the, the top of the grill, if you will. But because I have this customized grill with the Rob Motive part in the center, it kind of takes up the two holes where they're supposed to go in the middle. In other words, here and here. Now, or here, I could put them up higher. I could go here, 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 and here, but then they're relatively closely spaced. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting them down here below, one here, one here, and then over there as well. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Now, putting these in, they do have little pressure clips, if you will, that hold them in. So you simply slip the connector through and push in, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So, actually, I think I have that one. I have one of them too high or something, or too low. Uh, I believe, well, that, that's another uh, concern. It doesn't seem to be evenly spaced across here or that, or I'm seeing things, maybe, probably, I am. It needs to go here. Looked a little off to me for some reason, and it was because I had it down here too low. So, and I've never seen anybody do it this way, so let's mix things up a little bit. Plus, in essence, when they're on, it sort of outlines the Rob Motive uh, badge, if you will, or name across the front of the grill, which I kind of like. So I'm going to go with that area now. The only other thing that's going to create for me probably is my wiring is not going to reach all the way to the Switch Pro. I may have to extend this wiring a little bit. That's not really a big deal. I can easily do that. There's not a lot of draw on this anyway, so I'm not real concerned. But I'm going to go ahead, get them snapped in, and then we'll get them plugged in in the back and tackle that wiring in the front. Okay, we've got them all done, all wired into the aux beam. The th other thing I like about these in the place that they're at, or really anywhere on the, the grill, is they kind of blend in. So unless you're looking to have those seen, most people probably wouldn't even notice them. But let's go ahead, I'm going to turn the truck on, hit the switch, see if they work. Okay, there you go. You can see they're on, and they are white lights, by the way. Uh, that's cool. I uh, wasn't quite sure myself as to uh, what flavor I got, but I'm digging them. I think they look pretty good. And again, they kind of underline, if you will, the Rob Motive name, I guess, or channel name on the grill. Something a little bit different. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody mount them this way. Typically, everybody goes right across the top. Here's a quick shot of all the lights on in the front. Uh, you can see it lights up pretty well there. Real quick, I want to get a quick shot of it without the, the bar on. And there you go. There is how I would, actually I would drive around if I was trying to 
show off the front of the truck. Looks pretty good, I think. There you have it, not a complicated mod. Um, again, they just kind of blend right in when they're not on. I kind of dig that. They're not beaming on the front of the truck like they are when they're turned on. Anyway, it's a pretty simple mod. Um, of course, they do fit down below, so now you have options as to where you want to put them. Heck, you could probably even put them two, 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 I don't know, who knows, whatever you want to do. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, particularly of my new location. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.